Hi, welcome to uh, this week's um, online course. So we're on to lesson six. So tonight's lesson is brush, left knee and push, which is really similar to the one we did two weeks ago, but it starts from a different place. So let's get started. And like always, we'll start with the form and then we will work on the exercise. Tonight's posture. So good to have you here and let's get started. So we have the feet shoulder width apart. So I'll do the first form facing this way. So we'll let's go as far as our um brush as far as play guitar that we did last week, and then I'll do it facing this way, and then we'll do it, do it facing the other way, and then we'll work on tonight's posture. So arms resting at the side of the body, and take a moment to just bring yourself here into the practice. Feel your feet on the ground. Take a moment just to check in with how you're feeling this evening. How the body is feeling. How your mind is feeling. And as best you can, just let whatever way you're feeling be okay. Some days we feel up when we begin, some days we feel down. Notice you, I don't think I've ever finished a session where I didn't feel better than when I did at the beginning. So, and then let's just feel soften the knees. So, you know, we're working to have a nice upright posture, but nothing rigid. So the chin's tucked in, feel this nice lengthening in the spine, like long, down the back and we don't want to force the tummy under but we want this little as soon as the knees soften you'll feel a little tuck up in your tummy just we're just working to have a nice straight back and everything soft relaxed so we're going to sit down into <coughs> excuse me start again a little cough so Let's sit down in, feel like you're sitting onto a seat as you bend the knees and the arms come out and the hands rest on cushions of air. Allow the wrists to relax and the arms to just softly float up the front and feel that soft floating down through the air. It's almost like the air holds them up. And then we turn to the left and back into the right foot as we make a ball between the heart and the dentian. Step onto the heel of the left and softly, the left hand comes to the heart as the right hand sinks down to the side of the body. Turn the waist to the right, back to the left, back to the right and back to the front into white crane thread swings. Turn left and sink the right hand down the front of the body. Turn right and open up, fold the left hand over, brush past the left knee and sink into the left foot as we push with the right. Turn left, peeling up the back foot. Sink into the back foot, turning right, picking up the front foot, back to the centre to play guitar. Okay. So that's where we got to the last day. So let's do that again. So if we go, I'll go from this direction on. So again, let's find that nice alignment in the body. Let's take a moment feeling that connection right down into the earth right up to the heavens from the top of the head and then just take a moment just to feel the space all around you wherever you're practicing just tune into that feeling of spaciousness soften the gaze and we think softly let the arms float up and softly down. Transfer the weight into the left and back into the right to make the ball. And then step onto the heel of the left and bring the left hand to the heart as the right hand sinks down to the side of the body. Turn the waist to the right. Turn to the left. Back to the right, sliding the left foot back a little into white green threads wings and then turn left and sink that right hand down the front of the body. Turn right as the arms open up, 
fold the left hand over, step with the left, brush past the knee and sink forward, push it and then turn left, peeling up the back foot. Sink into the back foot and turn right, peeling up the front foot. Play guitar. And now tonight is turn to the right and open up again. Fold the left hand over, brush past the left knee and sink forward to push. So it's similar to the one we did two weeks ago. It's just that it starts from a different place. So um, let's do the whole thing again. We'll do it two more times and then we'll work on that. That um, brush left knee and push for tonight. So don't forget to just let yourself relax and let yourself smile. Just a little hint of a smile. It kind of has that mmm feeling. So beneficial. A little bit of a kind of a purr for yourself. For giving yourself this time to nourish your body, your mind, your spirit. And to feel that connection to us practicing together. So relax and sink down into the feet as the hands come to rest on cushions of air. And then they softly float up the front of the body and feel like they're just being held up by the air as they float down, weightless, floating down. Turn to the left, bringing the weight into the left foot. Back into the right foot as you make a ball between the heart and the dantian. Step forward and left with the left and bring the left hand up to the heart. Sink the right hand down as the right foot comes round. Turn, turn to the right, bringing the weight into the back foot. Back to the left, stay, keeping the weight in the back foot. Back to the right. Back to the centre into white crane with wings and then turn left and let that right hand again float down the front of the body. Turn right to open up, fold the left hand over, brush past the left knee, sink forward to push. Turn to the left, let the back foot peel up. Turn to the right, bringing the weight back into that right foot, picking up the left foot, back to the centre to play guitar. And then we just turn to the right again, let the arms open up. As you're turning back, we fold the left hand over and step left with the left, turning the weight back to the centre, the right hand comes in to push. We do it facing this way. So just stick to that, stick, copy me, and then we work on the posture. So we sink. Let the arms float up. Keeping everything as relaxed as you can. Transfer into the left foot, back into the right, making this ball. Step wide with the left and sink into the left. As the left hand comes to the heart and the right hand sinks down to the side of the body. Turn the waist to the right, keeping the left hand in front of your heart. Turn the waist to the left and then let the left hand sink down and bring the right hand to the heart. And keep the right hand at the heart as you turn right. And back to the center and then turn left sink this right hand down the front of the body turn right open up turn back to the center fold the left hand over as you step left brush past the knee and sink forward push keep turning left the back foot peels up and then turn to the right bringing the back foot back down pick up the left foot and bring it down on the heel and then turn right again and open up fold your left hand over as you turn back to the center Step with the left, sink forward, to push with the right. So let's do that facing this direction, right? So I'm going to do it from white crane spread wings because we do brush left knee and push, play guitar, and then we repeat brush left knee and push. So let me do it this way once so you can see what we're doing, right? So we're here at the end, <coughs> excuse me, at the end of white crane spread wings, weight in the back. This foot is empty. We're just on the ball of the left. So turn your waist to the left and let that right hand float down the front of the body. Turn the waist to the right and the arms open up. And then we fold the left hand over, brush past the left knee, sink forward to push. So stay in the front foot as you turn left and the back foot peels up. Put the back foot back down, ball down to the heel as you turn right. Pick up your left foot and as you turn back to the centre, we play guitar. And now it's just to open the body again, turning to the right. Turning back, fold the left hand over and step left. Brush, left hand brushes past the knee and the right hand sinks forward to push. 
So brush knee and push is just this feeling. So um, let's just do that brush knee and push from play guitar. That's tonight. So at the end of play guitar, our weights, so I'll do it a few different directions so you can see. So if you stand here with me and have the weight in the right foot and you're just on the heel of the left, so there's no weight in here, you'll know if you're a bit this way, you'll have to push back to lift up that foot, but you really should be able to just lift up the left foot without having to shift the weight. Left hand is a little bit above the right and the right, both palms, left palms looking up, right palm is looking down. So the next brush left knee and push is just turn the waist to the right. Let your arms open up. And then as you're turning back to the front, just let this right hand come with the body. So this is coming round in line with your shoulder. The left hand folds over. Okay, so that's what's happening with the two arms. So we're turning back to the center, letting the left palm turn down as the right hand just moves with the body to here. Now, the next time you're doing it, as you're, as you're doing that, just pick up your left foot. And then when you step with the left, you're going to brush the left hand past the knee and the right hand folds in at the elbow to push. So it just takes a bit of practice. There's a lot of subtleties in there. And um, don't worry too much about it. Get the air. I like, I like to teach Tai Chi a bit the way we teach Irish music, which is you get the air of it. And then we start putting in, we'll be able to put in the details later. Like you can hum along with the tune. And then as you get to know it, you begin to hear little overtones and undertones. And that's what we do with practice. You get the outline, which is very beneficial. And then as you get more interested, you'll find subtle little details that will absorb and fascinate you. So um, let's do that again from, from play guitar. So the weight's on the right foot. You're just on the heel of the left. Let the shoulders relax. Let your face relax. Make that soft little smile, like little hint, like a mmm. And then we turn right and the arms open up. Turn back to the center, letting the left hand fold over. Pick up the left foot. Step left, brush past the left knee. And the right hand folds in at the elbow. And now let's do it a few times from white cream and spreads veins just to connect those three postures. So we're on the ball of the left foot and we turn left and sink that right hand softly down the front of the body. Turn to the right and the arms open up, fold your left hand over as you step left, brush past the left knee and sink forward to push. Turn left, peeling up the back foot. Put it back down, turning right as you pick up the front foot and then down on the heel of the left, play guitar. And turn to the right again, open up. Turn back, folding the left hand over, step with the left, sink into the left as the right hand comes in to push. Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's do it facing this way now. Um, and sometimes people on my other class tell me they like if I turn my back, so they just copy along. So let's see that as well. So we're here in white crane spreads wings. So we turn to the left and let the right hand sink down the front of the body. Turn to the right as the arms open up. Fold the left hand over as you step with the left foot and sink into it as you push with the right. Turn left as the back foot peels up. Sink into the right foot as you turn right, picking up the left foot. Back to the centre to play guitar. And then we turn right again, open up. Fold the left hand over as you step with the left. Brush past the left knee and sink forward to push. Okay, so let's go back to here. I don't want to confuse you too much doing too many different directions, but um, let's just do it from this direction again. So just the play, just from play guitar, let's do that three times. So this is the new one that we've done. So we're just, the play guitar, you're down on the heel of the left, and then we turn to the right, opening up. Fold the left hand over, pick up your left foot and step left, brush past the knee, Sink forward, push. Okay, so let's do that again. So we're just on the heel of the left foot, sitting down into or sitting down on the right leg. We turn right and open up. Turn back to the centre, folding the left hand over, step with the left, brush knee, push with the right. And let's do that one more time. So we're on the heel of the right foot, of the left foot, sorry. So we sink into the right foot, turning right. 
turn back to the center, folding the left hand over, pick up your left foot and brush past the left knee and sink into the left as we push with the right. So when you finish your weights in here, left leg, and you know, 70, about to, they say 70, 30 is the general rule for Tai Chi. It might be a little bit more, a little bit less, but mostly in that front leg. So now let's go from the beginning to there three times. And then on the third one, we we'll go right to the end of this mini form. And uh, just so that you get a sense of where we're going with the journey. So feet parallel. And take a moment just to settle down into the body again. Relax the feet. Imagine that they're just melting down into the ground. Soften the face. Get your little hint of a smile. And we sit as the hands come to rest on cushions of air. And you've got a little bit of space under your armpits. Allow the arms to softly float up. Softly down. Feel your neck nice and long, chin tucked in. Turn to the left, bringing the weight into the left foot. Back into the right foot as we make the ball between the heart and the dentian. Step to the left and let the left hand float up to the heart as the right hand floats down to the side of the body and the right foot comes round. Turn the waist to the right. Turn the waist to the left and let the hand swap. Right hand comes to the heart. Keep the right hand at the heart as you turn right and then turn back to the centre. Right hand in front of the third eye. Sink the right hand down the front of the body. Turn to the right as the arms open up. Step with the left. Sink into it as we push with the right. And then turn left, peel up your back foot. Turn right and peel up the front foot. Bring it down on the heel, play guitar. Turn to the right and open up again. Back to the center as you fold the left hand over, brush past the knee and sink forward to push. Mm. So let's do that again. We sit down, bringing the hands out to rest on these cushions of air. Allow the arms to float up. And float down. We transfer the weight into the left foot and back into the right, making the ball. Step onto the heel of the left, ward off with the left, sink the right hand down. Turn the waist to the right. Turn left. Back to the right and to the center. Turn left and let that right hand float down the front of your body. Turn right to open up. Step with the left, brush past the knee, and sink forward to push. Turn left, peeling the left foot up. Sit into the back foot and turn right, peeling the front foot up. Back to the center to play guitar. And then open the body up again, turning right. Fold your left hand over, brush past the knee, sink forward to push. Mm. And now let's do it this time. Let's go the whole way to that mini form to the end of that so that you'll see it. So feet parallel. And we sink down. And then allow the arm to float up the front. And float down. Transfer the weight into the left foot. Back into the right to make the ball and then step onto the heel, ward off with the left, sink the right hand down. Turn the waist to the right, left, back to the right and back to the centre and then turn left and softly let that right hand float down the front of the body. Turn to the right and open up, fold the left hand over, brush past the left knee and sink forward, turning left, pick up your back foot. Turning right, pick up the front foot, play guitar. Turn right and open up again. Fold the left hand over as you step left, brush past the knee and sink forward. And then sit back into your back foot, turning on the heel of the left. Make a fist with the right hand and the two hands come up in front of the body. Turn the right foot to the corner and sink into your right foot and step forward and left with the left and punch with the right. 
and then we turn to the left, turn right as the hands pull apart and sink into that front foot. And then we turn on the heel of the left, sink into the left as the hands cross at the heart and step out with the right. And then softly let your hands float down to the sides of the body. Okay, so let's, let's, I'll do that once facing this way as well, just because you can see the part that I have my back to when we're doing it the other way. So we're over halfway from where you've done that. So it's really lovely to be sharing this practice with you. So let's find again that nice alignment in the body. And just play. It's lovely. A lot of my long-term people have told me they really enjoy this at-home practice because, you know, you can just play with it. Nobody's watching you, so you needn't worry whether it looks right or wrong. You're just getting into the feel of it, and little by little, you'll be able to get clearer about how to get it aligned. So let's sink. And let, it, let the arms float up and down. Um, soft, soft, soft. Turn to the left and bring the weight back into the right foot as we make the ball. Step onto the heel of the left. Left hand to the heart as the right hand sinks down. Turn the waist to the right. Left, right hand comes to the heart. And keep the right hand at your heart as you turn right. Back to the centre. Turn left and let that right hand sink down the front. Turn right and open up. Brush past the left knee and sink forward to push. Turning to the left, the back foot peels up. Turning to the right, the front foot peels up. Play guitar as we turn back to the centre. Turn right and open up again. Fold your left hand over. Brush past the knee and sink forward. Now sit back, turning on the heel of the left foot. Make a fist with the right hand and the two hands come up. Bring the right foot down on the heel, look into the corner, sink into the right. Step with the left and punch with the right. And then we turn to the left, turn to the right to withdraw. The hands turn over and we sink forward, push. And then turn back on the heel of the left foot, the arms reach out. Sink into the left as the hands cross at the heart, right hand outside. And then let the left hand come over the right as the hands sink back down. So we end up double weighted in this, and then we straighten up. Okay, so somebody was asking me, what's the difference between this and the short form? So in this, what I've done is taken off the beginning of the short form, which has some complicated turns in it. So, but I usually find that once people have done this 10 week course, you're used to the feel of shifting your weight from leg to leg for turning the waist. And then the turns that happen at the beginning of the short form are just easy to grasp. So that's why um, this is a mini form and it's taken out. Um, the, the postures that are in the short form are the white print spreads wings, the brush left knees and push, the play guitar all, from white print and spreads wings to the crossing hands is short form. So it's just that little beginning this is just a beginning to get us into the short form and then the rest is short form. So uh, it's just a lovely introduction. I've been teaching it that way for maybe 10 years now and it's really helped people to grasp with effortlessly, get into the feel of it. Okay, so now let's do some warm up exercises or the principles of Tai Chi, which do are the same in, you know, all the, all Tai Chi has the same principles of being upright, relaxed, and some schools will, they'll turn on the heel, and some schools will turn, you know, when they step, say, if when you step forward, some schools will push the heel out, and some, like our school, we turn, we pivot the heel in, you know, they're just minor differences, but, and they really, to me, you know, a lot of what Tai Chi is doing is bringing us present into the body. So if you're in the school that says turn on the heel, you're turning on the heel and you're just teaching your body that you're the master, that, you know, if you say turn on the heel or if you said push the heel out, that's what your body would do. So we use it, I use it as a tool to become more tuned into the body and also to be able to 
take charge a bit more. Okay, so let's do some of these. This is our nice sequence of warm ups. So our principles. So find that nice alignment in your body again. Feet parallel. Relax the shoulders. Relax the face. Soften, soften, soften. And we're just going to turn to the right. So this is called knocking on the gates of heaven. So we're turning. See, I'm coming into the left foot, turning left, into the right foot, turning right. And the two feet stay on the ground for this one. So we're focusing on hitting the dantian on the front and the sacrum at the back once you get into the rhythm. Don't forget to smile. Okay. And that in that one, you know, you're letting the arms just be really loose. It's just kind of just let your, your arms be a bit like a rag doll. So you want to get the feeling often in Tai Chi that you know you've just got this loose joints. So the, the arms are moving just because of the momentum of moving. So we're not trying to, it's not like I'm standing doing this, so you're just listening to. And that's a good practice to get into during the day to let your arms just relax from the shoulders down because you know a lot of time people go around with their shoulders up here and they don't even realize it so when you let the arms hang and let the shoulders relax down so but it's like we let go it's like we drop the baggage okay so now we're going to next one we're going to sink into one foot so let's sink into the left and turn on the heel of the right and then back to the center and sink into the right and turn on the heel of the left so adjust your posture that you can do this, you know, you don't have to have the feet too wide apart. Just a nice shoulder width and then sink into one. So I'm sinking into the right now, turning on the left heel and then back to the center and sink into the left, turning on the right. So you'll feel that pivot on the heel and notice as well now as we're doing it, that it goes right up your leg, that you're opening this joint in here a bit kind of opens the whole front of your body really because as you turn you'll feel even your chest opening in front in a nice soft way And just let the arms swing with the body.
Hmm. Just let everything relax again. And on this next one, we're going to sink into the left foot and just pivot on the ball of the right. And then back to the center and then pivot on the ball of the left. So feel like you're giving the ball of the foot a little massage. It's one of my favorites. It's just all you feel you're activating that kidney meridian down here on the sole of the foot. And again, you can just... Once you've got it going, just let the arms just swing with the body. Hmm. This one is so calming. Moving slowly is so calming for the nervous system. So the next one we're going to do is uh, stepping like a cat. So bring the feet into a tension posture with the heels together and the toes looking to the corner. Find that nice alignment again. Nice long neck, chin tucked in, lower back nice and soft and straight. And then we sit down into the right foot and let's step forward and left onto the heel of the left. Flex the foot and roll down from the heel to the toes. And then in by the ankle and step back on the ball and roll down from the ball to the heel. So we step forward on the heel, rolling down to the ball. And back on the ball, rolling down to the heel. And again, once you get the rhythm going, let the arms just swing with the body. But in the beginning, you just want to just focus on the movement of the feet. This is great for your sense of balance. And in the beginning, you might find that one side is easier than the other. So as you practice, you'll find that you'll be equally balanced on both sides. Okay, so heels back together. Hmm. And let's repeat the same with the sinking into the left. And this foot that you're that stays way, this stays on the ground the whole time. So step forward and flex the right foot and bring it down on the heel. And then back together. And a feeling of stepping out wide. Ball to the heel as you go back. And out wide, heel to the wall. Not too long, just... More of a feeling of stepping a little bit back but wide and a little bit forward but wide.
Okay, the heels back together. And now let's step forward and left with the left again. Nice space between your heels and move back here. And then we're just going to rock the weight into the front foot and rock back. Just relaxing. Softening. This rocking is really beneficial as well, you know, because when babies are upset, we just hold them and rock. So we're just big babies, so it's just nice when we just let ourselves rock forward. Rock back. And get a feeling as best you can that your weight is coming under the ground forward, under the ground back, like you're sinking and sinking and relaxing and relaxing. Soft. Easy. Then let's just sink into the back foot. Mm. And we're going to repeat the same, stepping forward and right with the right. And then just again, relax forward. And you know, it's really in your head, you can think things like soft, easy, relaxed. So what we say to ourselves affects our body. So if you're saying things like tense up, your body will tense up. If you think relax, soften, be at ease, your body is listening. So it will begin to soften and relax and be at ease. I remember reading once when I started Tai Chi, they say, Tai Chi is about 50 miles to the gallon. So we're just slowing down so we'll have more energy. So we can appreciate the journey. We're not in a rush anywhere. We want to savor each day each moment, each move. and then we we'll just sink back so now let's bring our feet parallel and I'm going to share another exercise with you tonight that I love it's one of another one of my favorites <laughs> they're all my favorites three really, days I start doing one I think well this is my favorite and that's the way anyway so for this one now you're going to have your hands in kind of prayer posture with the I'll come in closer so you can see what I'm doing with my hands and uh, the feet are just parallel shoulder width of our foot. So we have the hands like this. So if you stand in close, we can do it together, right? So open your palms out. So when you open out your palms, now bring your mind into your thumbs. So we're going to reach out and I'm going to draw a circle. 
And when we get here, the backs of the hands meet and I'm going to bring them down like this and I'll turn your thumbs out and feel how that really opens your shoulder blades. Elbows sticking out, which is unusual in Tai Chi, but we're doing this here. And then we push out and then we're going to lead with the thumbs and you're going to bring the thumbs down around the bottom and back up to here. So if you look once, I'm drawing an eight. So I open the hands out. I'm reaching up and then over the top of the head and the backs of the hands meet here and the thumbs point down. So it's like, now I'm gonna turn the thumbs out. So I'm leading with the thumbs. So the thumbs are drawing the circle, the bottom. It's like I'm drawing two eights. So I'm coming up the middle of the eights. Now that I'm coming across the scent round through the middle, over the top and down. And then we turn the thumbs out to come across the middle. And we're coming under the bottom of the eighths, two eighths. Opening your heart here. Mm, love this. Down through the crown of the head, into the heart. Turn the thumbs out. So now when we go down, we imagine you're reaching into the center of the earth and you're going to bring the earth energy up into your body. Open the palms out. Let go. Reach up to bring heaven's energy down through the crown of the head down into the heart and then we just let it go and then we reach down and bring the ground's energy up feeling the body reach up and bring heaven's energy down now stop here for a minute and you'll notice that your shoulder blades have really opened and your chest has got kind of more closed turn the thumbs out sink down now, when you come open up to here, now, as you're opening here, notice how you're opening the front of your chest. And as we go out, the shoulder blades are getting closer together. So we've opened the front and closed the back. And now we're bringing it down, opening the back, shoulder blades pulling apart. And then we sink down. And here now, the front of the chest is opening and the shoulder blades are pulling closer together. So it's a this is a lovely exercise to do first thing in the morning because it really opens us up. And, you know, we they know from science now that when you open your body like this, all Tai Chi is designed to open the body. And when we do it for just two minutes, this, there are lots of hormones released into our saliva that they can measure that are just enhancing, empowering, positive hormones. And there's a really interesting YouTube video by a, a woman called Amy Cuddy. And um, she did a lot of research on posture and how it affects our state of mind. And the opening encourages us to feel more empowered, more confident. And who doesn't need that? So let's do three more. Opening out here, feel your shoulder blades pulling together, pulling apart. Front of the chest opening. Front of the chest opens and the shoulder blades go together. The shoulder blades pull apart and the front of the chest closes. We're opening. And last one, really reach up. Bring that heaven's energy down into the body. Let go and reach down and bring the bronze energy up. Mm. So they're the eight. So really, when we're doing them, you don't you just have the feet for now. We're just going to keep the sink down and just it's just the arms. We're just drawing energy up and down. You can imagine just whooshing. You know, sometimes it's nice to feel like you're bringing a color like whatever colour appeals to you tonight, up through your body. And then imagine that same colour or a different colour down through the body, just filling the body with light, drawing it up, washing through the body and down, washing through the body. Okay, so I would keep at that all night. But um, let's... We we'll just do a few, one or two more. So let's just do, let's just finish now with these little massages for the body. So we're going to massage the tummy. 
and feel not that energy that we've been gathering, just let it into the tummy. You know, like you're saying thank you to your tummy for all the work that's done already today. And then let's bring it back the other way. Great. And now with the palms of the hands, let's massage the kidneys here just under your ribs. And we just make lovely circles. So we do that 49 circles and then just I like to hold the palms against the kidneys, just letting that heat from the palms of your hands radiate into the kidneys. Imagine those beams of light now shining into your kidneys, radiating good energy, healing light into the kidneys. Mm. So the palms are such fabulous, strong energy centers. And as we practice, you know, we're enhancing our ability to heal ourselves and heal the people we come in contact with. So just because you're working on your energy field, clearing all the Tai Chi postures help clear the energy space around our body so we can be just open and kind and, you know, share this positive energy that we've been gathering all this chi so we can circulate out and the more we give it out the better we feel because it just allows that energy to flow through your body you cannot you cannot lose it by giving it out you're just opening to more flowing through you so that's why we want to be channels for this energy and light to pass through us out into our space out into the people we meet and just you know helping this time and any time it's great to be part of a healing community. We just want to help the planet and help ourselves in the process. So we're going to rub the palms together, feel your heat, all this heat building between the palms. Great. Once we have it, I take the glass of water for this. And just wash your face with that lovely warm heat now. Mm, feel yourself soaking up that heat chi and the head a little massage with this you might like to rub them again and then feel like you're washing it down your arms like give yourself a little wash a little energy wash down the legs Notice where you feel there's a part of your body that you feel is calling you. Okay, and then let's just bring the palms over the ears and press in. Then we're going to release. Okay, and then we just keep the palms over the ears and we're just hammering back here. Sounds like drumming a bit. Mm. Lovely. So now let's just finish tonight with... Um, with a little short mini form to our brush left knee and push to the second one. So we just let's just do that twice and then we'll 
sit for a little short meditation. So find, again, I'll move back a little bit. Feel the feet on the ground. Notice how you're feeling now. How your feet feel on the ground. Feel all the way up along through the body. Noticing the places where you can feel the aliveness after this practice. You might feel tingling parts of the body. Numbness. Any sensations that you know, you just tune into. You might just be feeling relaxed. Just notice. And then we sink down, letting the hands rest on these cushions of air. Softly. I should say, feel at ease. Turning to the left. Make the ball. Step left and toward off left. Right. Left. Right. And back to the centre for white crane spread things. And then softly. Let that right hand sink down. Step at the left. Brush past the knee and sink forward. Turn left. Right. Play guitar. And then open up again. Brush past the left knee and sink forward to push. Okay, so let's do it one last time facing this way. So, we sink. Allow the arms to softly float up. Softly down. Transfer the weight into the left foot and back into the right as we make the ball. Step left onto the heel of the left, ward off with the left, sinking the right hand down. Turn right, left, back to the right and back to the centre. And then sink that right hand down the front of the body. Turn right and open up. Step with the left, brush past the knee. Sink forward, push, turn left as your back foot peels up. Turn right, pick up the front foot and play guitar. And then turn right and open up again. Fold the left hand over and step at the left. Sink into the left as the right hand comes in to push. Okay, lovely. So let's just sit for a minute and... Um, allow ourselves to just, it's lovely to take time, you know. Um, I like to take a little bit of time at the end of the practice just to sit and acknowledge your body, acknowledge how we're feeling. And allow yourself to feel your feet on the ground. I like to sit on the edge of the chair for this, feeling like the buttocks, like the sit bones, you've just come off them. Feel this nice opening here in the chest. So the hands can be in a in this shape with the lovely open elbows out. And the feet again, shoulder width apart. And chin tucked in, like a Tai Chi posture, but sitting down. And let's just take a moment now to focus on that feeling of space and spaciousness. Allow yourself to just relax, soften. And feel the feet, notice how they feel on the ground now with no, with less weight. Feel the support of the chair under your buttocks or your thighs, whatever is resting on the chair. And scan the body up from the feet, through the lower legs, through the knees and the thighs, into the buttocks. Just notice how that whole lower part of the body is feeling now. 
and then scan up through the torso. Feel all around the pelvic area, into the tummy, all around the chest, up into the shoulders, giving the body permission to let go and relax, to soften. Now feel down along the arms, down into the elbows, relax. From the elbows to the wrists, let go and relax. Down into the fingertips. Just feeling the whole body. Now let's feel from the neck right up through the face, up into the scalp, down on the back of the head. Just allowing your whole body to relax. Now in this more aware state, just imagine feeling the space all around your body. Space up to the ceiling and down to the floor. The space in front and behind. And at the sides of the body. So imagine feeling yourself in this space. And now just imagine feeling the space to infinity above the body. Through the ceiling through the building, through the atmosphere, right out past all the stars and the galaxies, to the ends of infinity, and even beyond. And then imagine feeling all that space to infinity in front, behind, and at the sides of the body. Now let's also imagine feeling the space to infinity below the body, through the earth, through the atmosphere, out past all the stars and the galaxies, universes, multiverses, Imagine that space all the way to the ends of infinity and even beyond. And now imagine just what would that space feel like? Imagine tasting it, smelling it. Imagine hearing the silence in that vast, vast eternal space. Imagine just feeling yourself in this vast, vast eternal space. Imagine all the time that's gone before, all the time to come. And just allow yourself to rest in this eternal now. Now imagine in this now that your mind is filled with space, surrounded by space, permeated by space. And all your sensations, all your feelings, all your thoughts, arise in this vast eternal space and they all dissolve back into it. So let's just sit for a moment just experiencing this space within the body, around the body, space in the mind. 
just letting go into this space as best we can. Okay, so now if you haven't, so bring your attention out. Feel your whole body again, feet on the ground, the support of the chair under the body. And if you had your eyes closed, just allow them to open. And when the eyes open, just notice the space around. We usually just pay attention to the objects. So notice the space between you and your laptop or wherever you are watching this. Just feel, feel that space. Feel the space all around wherever you are. Feel the space in your mind. Get the feeling that your whole body is filled with space. Surrounded by space. Permeated by space. And let's just take that feeling of spacious awareness with us for the rest of our evening and our lives. So lovely to have your company. So great to see people signing up and do subscribe, please, to the channel if you haven't already. And if you enjoy, leave a comment. Lovely to have people emailing me, but also lovely to see comments on um, the page. So blessings to you and enjoy your week. And keep up the practice. Lots of love. Bye.